Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing 8 recipes for birthdays or anything you want. Recipes that are easy to make and really simple. First of all, first dish is a ball of meat. They're really easy to make and they're fun to eat. Follow my channel if you're not already following and to see a lot of recipes more. First, we'll do the insides. We'll chop and boil egg, then 50 grams of any types of nuts that you want, 100 of grams of also, as you can use any type of frozen or or dry berries or fruits for this. Have a kilogram of fresh fresh mushrooms and one onion that you cut in half of rings. In hot pan, you add all the mushrooms with a little bit of oil. You mix it and fry it till it has this color. You'll need to add some more oil before adding the onions. When everything is done, add your salt and pepper. And you can mix it again and take it out of the heat. Put it in a bowl and add the egg you chopped before, the, the dry fruit and the nuts and a bit of salt and mix it all together. Let's prepare the meat. I'm gonna be using some pork meat for this. I'll be using like a couple centimeters and then I'll be chopping it all. Each piece you'll have to beat it with this hammer on both sides. When you're done, just put some salt in each piece and pepper, then mix it again. Each of the meat uh, will put this and use one tablespoon of the filling. We'll do like a little bag of meat, so you need the sticks of wood. The form for the oven, you add some more oil and add the meat bags. You put it in the oven for 180 grams for 35 minutes. When it's gone, you add you have to mince some cheese. And when you're done cooking it, you can take out the little wooden sticks when it's still hot. On top, you can add some cheese if you want to. And let's put all together again to the oven to melt the cheese. After the cheese is melted, it's done too. You can serve it and it's really cool to open up just for kids and adults. I really recommend it. Second recipe. This will be um, chicken chicken breast in the oven. This smells amazing and it's really easy to make. First of all, I'll be cutting the chicken that I'll be using. You use the chicken and you just cut it up. Then you add it to the bowl. You add some salt of 
like you use mostly one tablespoon. You add some curry, some myran, and one tablespoon of whatever uh, spices you want and some pepper. Then you mix it all together with your hands. Then you're gonna leave it for 30 minutes. We will take one pepper and take out the insides and then cut it in four and cut it in big slices. The pan that you'll be using, add some oil and put the chickens into the pan that you'll be using. In each cut, you're gonna add uh, the peppers. The peppers that you're left with, uh, you will have to put on top or besides the chickens. You take 150 grams of milk and a bit of salt or you can use yogurt too and you fill it up so the chicken can get soaked. You close the pan and send it to the oven. You're gonna have to do it for 25 minutes. You take out the aluminum and for 20 minutes leave it again. When it's all done, you can perfectly take it out and it smells amazing because of the milk and this recipe is so good. I enjoy doing it every time. The third is a jelly cake. It's perfect for summer, birthdays, or anything refreshing on a hot day. First of all, let's do the gelatin. We'll need a different gelatin of different fruits to make the colors and the flavors. And you do the same with lemon and, and orange, the same as the uh, strawberry flavored gelatin. When you're all done, you have to put it in a pan and let it sit. First you let it sit in temperature, room temperature, and then go to the fridge. Let's prepare the form. I'll be using this type of aluminum, or you can use a silicone form. It's perfect either way. When the gelatin is set, you take it out and cut it in four, in squares. When you're all done, you have to be taking one by one and you spread it out, everything. Try not to put a lot on the borders, only on top of each other. Then let's do the gelatin of the yogurt. You use the gelatin with water and you mix it. And you let it sit. On another bowl you add the yogurt. And you add 2 tablespoons of sugar. You mix it all perfectly till the sugar is dissolved.
When the gelatin is all done, you have to heat it up. Fifty or sixty grass Celsius because if it's not hot enough, it will do lumps. Go adding the gelatin on small portions. You cannot do it all again, all together. When you're done with the mixture, you add it to the gelatin cake. You use the spoon to shape it up. You put it all again to the fridge. It is all set and you cover it up with a you cover it up with a plate and you take it out. And you flip it again. Let's do the decorations. You can use any fruits you want because this will look good in with every fruits you do. You just cut like berries, mangoes, some kiwi or anything you want. And this is how I decorated my cake. On top you can put some leaves of mint. The cake is done. This cake is perfect for a summer night or day, whichever you want. It is light. If you like gelatin, it's actually perfect. It's fun to make and to eat. This is my result. Fourth recipe will be the mushrooms with cheese. They're eaten so fastly. Follow my channel if you're not still following. And so you don't forget to watch any of my videos. 200 grams of, of cheese and you cut it in squares. Half of a kilogram of mushrooms and you take out their feet. Well, I call it like feet because they're super cute. And you take it out and you wash it. You put it in the form that you will be using in the oven. Add some salt. And in each of them, you add the cheese square. Then you put it into the oven for 10 minutes till the cheese is plenty. The recipe is so easy to make and it's so fast and people and kids love it. This is the result. Fifth recipe is a, an amazing salad, quick to make, and it's really perfect for people that just want to lose weight or try to lose weight. First of all, let's do the broccoli. You cut it however you want, but not too big. Then you add hot boiling water for three or four minutes. Then you, you take out the water and add cold water so it preserves the greens of the broccoli. Then 150 grams of cherries, tomato cherries. And then you cut whatever spices you want. In this case, I use paisley. One can of tuna, unsalted, preferably. You add in a bowl the broccoli, then some chickpeas, some olives, and some cherries that you cut purposely, and the, um, the tuna. And you salt it a bit. 
you add some oil preferably and a bit of more or applesauce cylinder then you mix it all together this salad is so light and perfect for people that are on a diet or looking out for their body so they are easy to make and really delicious and tasteful sixth recipe is a salad with cucumbers and eggs that looks like a rose first let's do the onions you cut it on half of the half and chop it off add some salt and sugar add boiling water and some apple cider and mix it and 15 minutes you leave it apart when it's done you until the time it is you have to do one can of marinated little mushrooms then you do a boiled egg and you cut it, cut it in squares 30 grams 300 grams of chicken breast fried 100 grams of cheese you add all the ingredients that you chopped before the eggs the cheese and the onions a bit of salt and pepper add two tablespoons of mayonnaise you put it in the bowl that you will be serving and if you want to do a beautiful presentation you'll use three cucumbers that you cut in slices like this and then using a fork or a knife you take out the ingredients and try to use it like a rose like petals and it's actually so creative and so beautiful the people that are serving this will be amazed when they see this dish for the seventh recipe will be sandwiches with some concert canned fish first of all you cut the uh, sandwich bread that you will use first of all in a pan with oil you have to fry it to make it crispy then for boiled eggs you cut it in small pieces and one tablespoon of mayonnaise then 200 grams of cucumber and tomatoes you cut it in small pieces first you do the mix on one part of it you add the cucumber and then the fish and a tomato and a parasol flower or leaf this is an easy recipe to make and it's so yummy and funny to make and they're really pretty and the last recipe will be a easy salad of tomatoes eight tomatoes of 
not large, not small size. You cut it in pieces like that. One not big, not small um, onion and some persil or any spices you want. Some cheese, but you mince it. You add the tomatoes into the bowl or dish that you will be using. Then the onions. Let's do the sauce that you will be using. A bit of salt, pepper, and oil. Two or three tablespoons. Then mix it. And you can add on top of it. You add the cheese on top and the parasol. This salad is so easy to make and it smells amazing. I'm sure when you smell it for the first time you will be amazed by it. If you try, I really recommend this. If you liked this rec recipes that I made, please tell me in the commenters what recipes would you like to see more and follow my channel so you don't forget to watch any of my videos. Thank you for watching.